A violent double homicide, the public eagerly awaiting word on who's behind it. Tonight, our clearest information yet on what led a Colorado Springs business owner to go on the run from the law. Good evening, I'm Bart Bedsel. And I'm Heather Skold. Thanks for making us your choice for your news at 10 o'clock. Tonight, we are getting a clearer picture of what went down inside a Colorado Springs Elks Lodge before a purported shootout last Thursday that left two men dead. The alleged killer still on the run tonight. KRDO News Channel 13, Spencer Soysha has been digging into the background of suspect Lamar Taylor. Spencer, you met with one of his former employees today. Yeah, Barton Heather, that's right. Sources have told us that Taylor rented out this kitchen back here for his restaurant Union Cuisine. A former employee telling us that his relationship with Elk Lodge leaders soured quickly. It took him 16, 17 years for where he's at today and he just threw it away. This is a former employee of Lamar Taylor's. We're concealing his identity for his safety. Sources have told us that last Thursday, Taylor and two Elks Lodge members, Kevin Patterson and James Love, had a meeting before a fight broke out. Colorado Springs police say Taylor shot the men before fleeing the scene. Both Patterson and Love died in the hospital Saturday. The situation with the Elks and his contract, he used to have meetings and he used to come in the back all mad, saying, I think they're trying to ruin me. And, uh, I don't know what's going to go on, so it wasn't always a good relationship between him and the Elks. This isn't Lamar Taylor's first run-in with the law. Court records we obtained show Taylor was arrested on felony charges in Florida seven times between 1999 and 2009. That includes one incident where he was charged with aggravated battery involving a pregnant woman. But his former worker says Taylor had turned his life around and was dedicated to building his business. He had been running this spot for less than a year, but things recently worsened after Taylor purchased a new sign to hang out in front of Union Cuisine. The sign cost him $6,000. He did not have permission to put the sign up. So he put it up anyway. The former worker says the relationship between Taylor and the lodge was always strained. And sadly, he saw a lot of this coming. I told Lamar, well, go get a, go get a smaller kitchen. We could do it out of the kitchen because he did have a food truck at one time. And he was doing really good. And all the meetings and everything piled up and piled up and piled up. I told myself one day it's going to happen and it happened. It took Colorado Springs police five days to publicly name Taylor as the suspect in this shooting. They actually have not provided any photos or descriptions of what he looks like. That photo that we're showing you, we obtained from Broward County, Florida. Given all that, our source speculates that there's just no chance that he is still in our area. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, I'm Spencer Soysher for KRDO News Channel 13.